guys, so today I'm doing my top 10 movies. I'm going to go from 10 to 1, so my favourite, my worst to my favourite. Um, it's not really worse, it's just I don't really watch it, but when I do, I quite enjoy it. But yeah, so from 10 to 1, I thought I'd do this because I'm having a sleepover tomorrow and I'm not going to tell you who's with, but if she's watching, she knows it's her. So yes, um, I hope she knows it's her anyway. Um, no, but yeah, I'm having a sleepover, so I thought it'd be good um, for you guys to know some of the films that we're watching and things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so at number 10 is The Princess Diaries 1 and 2. I do love these films, but they just get so boring after a while. It kind of drags on and it's a cute little romance story, but it's just, it's not something that I'd actually go out and like, be like, oh my god, you have to watch this. It's not something like that at all, so that's why it's at number the 10. The next one is Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. I love this film. This is a really good film. This is Chorus Line. I love Chorus Line. I've seen it in the West End. I, shh, I know my wife. I did it at Drama. I love this film. It's so good, but if I had to choose out of all of the films that I've got, I, really, I don't want to. It has got some sex scenes in it, but it's not really that bad. It is for 12-year-olds, um, so it can't be that bad. Um, but yeah, I love this film. I also did this in drama and I know all of I love Grace is the word. Oh, I just oh, love this film. Man, I don't watch it as much and when I do, I love it. But the number two is so bad compared to the number one. Just, I've seen this in the West End and I loved it. So, I love this film. Okay, so at number five, I love School of Rock. Oh, my brother actually gave me this because I like I kept on going to his room and taking it so much that he was just like, oh, just have it. Um, it's a PG. I think they have yeah, um, mild language and sex reference in it. So yeah, I mean it's Jack Black it and more than white chicks. Oh, I love this film. It's a 15, it's really rude. It's actually really, really rude, some of the stuff they say. It contains really strong language and sex references, but I don't really see any sex references in that. But anyway, I, oh, I mean girls, I love mean girls. It's a 12, but I think a lot of people have already watched this, so I don't really need to explain it. But mean girls, if you haven't gone and watched it, then you are missing your life big time. So go watch it. I just go watch it if you haven't seen it because it is one of the best films that I've seen in ages. I prefer the two so much better over the one, but the two's not out, so I can't really show you. Every time the advert's on, I'm like, does that mean it's out? And then it's just like, in cinema is now. I was like, I've already seen it twice. I need to film. I'm really sorry about this, but I just noticed that. Oh, when he's in the, if you've seen number two, when he's on the back of the car in the air and he was like, I'm going about that. Oh, I just. Okay, guys, so that was my top ten films. I think I'm going to have three videos up today because one was meant to go up yesterday and it didn't because, I don't know, it just didn't go up. So I'm going to be putting that one up and this one and another one. Um, I got asked to film what's on my iPad quite a couple of times. So I may do that, but there's going to be a lot of hate, so if to do it or not um but yes they are all my top 10 films leave us a video response down below what are your top 10 films or what or comment down below what your top 10 films are i really want to say sorry about this bump i just noticed it when i was in the camera but sorry about that um i hopefully didn't bother you too much um and subscribe if you want to see more i like this video if you like kind of top 10 stuff all right guys i'll see you guys later